Hello everybody, welcome back to your weekday weekend. My name is Adam and I'm back with another Alibre video. Now, in the past I've praised Alibre for multiple reasons, including their lifetime license. But today I'm going to talk about some of the features I would love to see in more updated versions of Alibre. I'm not expecting to get these features for free. Obviously I would pay for the update. Just as a reminder, I'm just a 3D printing nerd who is beginning CAD. I don't have years and years and years of experience like some people do. I'm just a nerd who has been using Alibre Atom for a little while and I have some experience in some other softwares and these are things that I would love to see Alibre have in the future. Again, just a 3D printing nerd, not a CAD expert. Here we go. So I'd love to see an extrude offset. In this video by Maker's Muse, he's making the dice game from Cult of the Lamb and he shows how in Fusion 360, he can sketch something on a surface and then tell it he wants an offset so it doesn't start removing material for another few millimeters. In this, you can see that the extrude is cutting away the red area, but that doesn't start for another few millimeters. Next is automatically constraining offsets. So if you use something like Onshape, you can click the sketch figures with the offset tool. You can change the direction, press enter, enter your number and you're fully constrained. You're done. However, in a Libre, I can use the offset tool. I can click the sketch figures that I'd like to offset. I can click the button, and I still have to constrain the new sketch figures, even though I use the existing ones, which takes forever. I'm actually speeding this up. I would actually like the offset window to look something like this. With the maintain association to source entity, like from the project to sketch. Next is multiple parts. So if I'm an on shape and I create two cylinders here, let's just make them about uh, 30 millimeters each after I equal constrain them. Go ahead and separate them with a distance, make sure they're two separate parts, and then let's extrude. Okay, they're two separate solid pieces, and Onshape has made them as such. You can export each one separately, you can move them around separately with a transform. Um, they're separate parts. They're not an assembly, but they're separate parts. You can do whatever you'd like to them separately. However, in a Libre, if I do the same thing, I'll make two separate circles here, which a Libre does automatically add the equals constraint, which is kind of nice. However, I do have to manually add the vertical, uh, the horizontal constraint. Um, and I extrude these guys. They're still considered one part, even though they're two separate pieces they're still considered one part. I can't export them separately. I can't do anything with them separately. They are one piece that can't be separated. Okay, the second biggest thing I'd like to see, number two on my list, is multiple extrusions per sketch. So if I use on shape here to make a sketch like this with multiple offsets from earlier, I can click all these different parts, make the bottom of a box here, and then click the button, go back to the same sketch, and then an, do an extrude for a different part of the sketch. I can extrude just that part, say 20 millimeters, and I can go back to the sketch and do just that part, extrude just that by, say, three millimeters, click the box, and I'm done. There's my part. But in a Libre, I can have the same sketch, which looks awful, by the way, because I have to constrain the offset, I can't choose what to extrude. It picks for me, and that's wrong. Um, the only workaround that I can think of is to make an original sketch that you don't actually change, but then project those sketch figures to other sketches and delete the parts you don't need and do separate extrusions for each piece. You can try to select different parts and extrude them in a Libre, but it doesn't work. Um, 
So again, the only workaround I can think of is to use one master sketch, project different parts to other sketches, and extrude those. But um, because the sketch window has to be exited to extrude, you can't select different parts to extrude just certain pieces of a sketch. You have to use the whole sketch. You guys saw it coming. The number one biggest thing I'd like to see in a Libre is threads. And I mean actual geometry, not cosmetic. If I look in on shape, this here is a community add-on, but it still is part of on shape. I can add it into my on shape account. I can click on an external cylinder. I can choose my thread standard. I can add a taper. I can adjust the pitch and it all makes geometry live. Likewise, I can do it with an internal cylinder. If I use the thread tool and click on this side, I can again do the same thing. It automatically sees my diameter and finds out what size thread I need and automatically determines whether it needs to be an internal or external thread. And now I have geometry that easy. Took me about five seconds. I have geometry, it all works, and it's all really easy. In Libre, I have to sketch the actual thread profile, which I've done wrong because I made this sketch before I watched the video I'm going to show you in a second. Um, but there's just so much that can go wrong. It's so complicated. It's so tricky and difficult to do. And because I have a Libre Atom and not Pro or Expert, I have to manually sketch the helix every time. Now, Ex Machina Engineering has made three fantastic videos on designing threads, but as you might realize, he has three whole videos over 20 minutes each, one over 30 minutes, showing how to make threads in a Libre. That means that it's quite the lengthy process. Two of his videos basically shows how you can make thread dies, which then make the future thread creating process super simple and easy, but still, you have to do extra work rather than just clicking a cylinder and using a thread tool, so to speak. I do know a Libre Pro and Expert has a whole tap tool, but that doesn't create geometry. It only creates cosmetics. Hopefully this video has been of some entertainment to you and some help to you. I still love a Libre. These are just some things I would love to see them come out with in their next versions. I am not expecting to get these things for free. I would totally pay money for them. Obviously, I only have a Libre Atom right now, so I would want to upgrade to Pro or Expert for some of these things. Um, I would love to see some of them make their way into a Libre Atom, especially since that is marketed as the hobbyist version, and a lot of these things are really helpful for 3D printing. But I digress. Um, obviously, I'd pay the update fee, um, but these are things I would love to see in a Libre Atom. If you guys are watching, Love you guys. Thank you guys so much for everything you do. And to everybody else, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time, next weekend. Bye-bye.